like a Mopar now. Introduce you all to my Mopar Mustang. Boy, I can, I can read the hate comments from here on this. Yes, the, I had to actually use packing tape to get these to even stay on. But, hope you all like my Mopar mod on my Mustang. Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and take these off now. What is going on, YouTube? Tom here, and hope you all enjoy my little jab at Mopar guys. Now, I hope no Mopar guys will take that too seriously. That was all in good fun. Just know that I, it's not that I hate Mopars. At the end of the day, you all see my channel name. It is just a car guy named Tom, not just a Mustang guy named Tom, or just a Ford guy named Tom. Let's all agree we can all laugh at each other. But at the end of the day, we're all still friends. But, while we're on the subject of those splitter guards, yes, Mopar actually is announcing a little bit of a change they want to make. Now, as a lot of you know, with beginning basically with demons, and now translating into Hellcats, and even down to V6 challengers and chargers, guys will leave on their front splitter guards. So now, Mopar designers have gotten fed up with it. They've actually, now, not only are they urging guys to take them off, they've actually decided to change the color of the splitter guards. Now first they began to put on the letters, you know, remove before sale, remo to be removed by dealership, they start adding words on them, but now they've decided instead of yellow they're going to be purple, beginning in 2020. So these purple splitter guards have the effect of trying to make the car, qu I guess quote, I'll put it in quotes, uglier so that the owners are kind of encouraged to remove them. Now, nope, they're still not forcing dealers to do it. They haven't decided to tell dealers, you must remove it. Now, they haven't started coming around to owners in the middle of the night and just taking them off while the owners are asleep, although I feel like that would be coming. So, in effect, they're trying to say, hey, these are now even uglier than the yellow ones. Do take them off. They're purple. On Mopar guys, though, unfortunately, I think are a bit hard-headed. I feel like they're not going to listen. I feel like th they'll just leave those purple ones on. In fact, some of them might even paint yellow ones purple. It's Now it's a new sign of, well, now it's 2020 now. This is the newest model year since everyone has that clout of having the current year of car. And of course, they might even they might even sell the purple ones to older guys, the older owners of the cars, the ones like, you know, 17, 16, 15, whatever, and say, here's the newest ones. Some, of them, some companies have even gone as far as to offer them multiple colors. Now, I don't think this is really going to work. There's even actual Mustang mods out there. So you can make your Mustang have the splitter guard like a Mopar. And I think it is borderline pointless because those things really were made to be removed. They've also reminded people in the case of the challenge, or not challengers, but the chargers, it goes over paint. So actually, you should take them off because you don't want to ruin paint. Now, I never even saw my Mustang with splitter guards on them. I told the dealer when I custom ordered this car, just to go ahead and remove everything. I want to pick it up like a regular car. This is not going to be a car I keep in the garage and only take out once a year. This is going to be a car I drive and enjoy. But, I guess given the chance, Ford people would do it too. Leaving the splitter guards on for Mopar guys has almost turned into buying a hat and then leaving the little sticker on the hat. Kind of pointless, serves no purpose other than to say it's a brand new hat, or at least I, I've gotten it recently enough where the sticker hasn't come off yet, or leave, or some guys leave tags on clothing. It's just, it, it's the same idea, it's the automotive equivalent. Personally, if I had one, I would take it off just because I'd rather enjoy it than have the ugly splitter guard, although some Mopar guys like them. So, I don't see that, so the splitter guard trend is not going to go anywhere anytime soon, if, even if it is spreading into other cars. Yes, in the description below I have the Jalopnik article link to where I got all this information. That's where I first learned about it, so you all can check that out for a little bit more on it. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this automotive trend. What are your thoughts on Mopar switching to purple splitter guards to encourage owners to take them off? Do you think it's actually going to work? Are people actually going to start taking their splitter guards off, or do you think that it really is just going to turn into even more of the trend with the snapbacks with the stickers? You think guys are going to start upgrading to purple ones over their yellow ones? Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. 
you are stopping it for the first time, go ahead and subscribe because hopefully I'll bring you on more content. I'm not, and will not always be putting Mopar splitter guards on my Mustang, but hopefully real Mustang mods will start soon. Anyway, take care, have a good day. Actually, you know what? With as close as this car gets parked to everything in this garage with all this stuff up here, I may actually leave these on for a little bit. Don't want to damage my front splitter. And then let me know in the comment section below what you all think about that. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.